So this is the IPython, soon to be Jupyter Notebook, and we are looking at essentially an HTML page which has cells which can run code. Up here we have the menu bar. There are file operations, edit operations. We can take different views. We can insert cells above or below which we can also do with this button right over here. The cell command manages the cells. The kernel command either interrupts or restarts the kernel. And the kernel runs in the background, so actually the notebook is a front end capturing what's run in the kernel. We'll talk more about that in just a minute. And there's extensive help, including uh, keyboard shortcuts that you can use to make your life a little easier plus references to all these different things. Now when you are actually using the notebook you will be executing code in cells and you can see these cells when you select them they turn green. Yes this is actually green. When you deselect them they turn gray. So if I want to execute a cell, I have to click into it and make sure that this border has turned green. And there's something that mentions this down here. Also something that is a little different is I will be executing cells. Again, I put my cursor anywhere in the cell. It turns green on the outside and I can execute that cell either by hitting the little execute arrow here and I can stop it of course by using this uh, but I can also have uh, edit other types of cells so this is what's called a code cell and in addition if we look at the cell just above that it's a markdown cell if I double click on a markdown cell then it shows me how the uh, text was used to produce the uh, HTML web page version of this cell. I can execute the markdown cell and executing the markdown cell shows me the text that I formatted. Whereas executing a code cell actually shows what happens. Uh, when the background kernel, in other words, this code cell sends information to the kernel, the kernel executes it, and this is what's sent back. In this case, the number 10.